Tyler5310 here and in this video today I'm going to show you guys how you can enable SATA 2 3 gigabit per second on a LSI either integrated or add-in card that is not being enabled by default. So um, I have a Dell Precision T7500 workstation and built in on the motherboard we have the LSI SAS 6 IR integrated controller and then in my other uh, PCI Express slot I'm using a Dell SAS 5 IR for um, a few extra hard drives that I've got going, got going in here. However, I was running into a bit of an issue to where the drives on both cards were only running at SATA 1, 1.5 1 gigabit per second speeds. Now obviously that's a pretty big issue when you're using an SSD because it's not really too much of a difference between that of a uh, regular you know, hard drive. So this is my main boot drive right here. Um, so what this was saying, uh, the current mode was SATA 150, but the supported mode was SATA 600. I just want to go ahead and make it clear to you guys that this will not make it as fast as a brand new motherboard or anything like that using a SATA 3 controller. You would have to actually get a SATA 3 controller to get those types of speeds. However, this is a big difference from the you know uh, SATA 1, 1 1.5 gigabit per second. So what you're going to want to do... Um, after you verify that this is what you've got, you're going to want to download um, the LSI utility or LSI UTIL from uh, this guy's website, DZang. I'm going to butcher that, I'm sure, but uh, I'll put the link down in the description. So, what you're going to do is you're going to click this one right here. When you click that, you will be greeted with this file right here. What you're going to do is extract this. Then this is the extracted folder right here. Of course, you can run it in DOS. You've got an EFI shell, uh, Linux, Solaris, Solaris 32-bit, and then of course you've got Windows. Since we're on Windows, this is what we're going to be doing. So, what we're going to go ahead and do now, we're going to go ahead and uh, run this one. Excuse me, you're going to run it as administrator. Now, what it's going to do is we're going to be greeted by this, which is the uh, controllers that it sees on your motherboard. So now the integrated one that my SSDs are running on are, is the uh, SAS 1068E B3. So what we're going to want to do is select that one by clicking 1. What you want to do here is click or um, type in 13 to change SAS IO unit settings. So we're going to click 13. Uh, we're going to want to leave all this alone. So default is 8 leave it at 8, default is 0, leave it at 0, missing IO delay is 0, leave it at 0. Now this is what you see right here. So from from the factory, uh, what you're going to see is that these right here where it says 3 gigabit per second on the min rate and the max rate are both going to be 1.5 gigabit per second. So if you wanted to do this per drive, which uh, you can do, but uh, what I just do is I click 8, or I type in 8, which selects all of them. Uh, you're going to just click enter on all the ones that you don't want to change. And now this is where we're going to be greeted by the min rate. So 0 is for SATA 1.5 gigabit per second. Of course, we don't want that. We want uh, number 1, which is SATA 3 gigabit per second. So we would, in theory, type in 1, but I already have it set. So we would type in, well, if I can get this. All right, and then you would do the same thing right here. Type in 1. Initiator, don't know what that is, so we're not going to mess with that. Every other setting here, you guys are going to leave stock. So it's going to bring you back to this, to where you would be able to configure more drives. Select a phys physical. This is where you would select it again. So if you wanted to do two drives individually, you could do that. But what we're going to go ahead and do is just click return to quit. Well, if I can do this correctly. All right, so now we're set back to the main screen and then that is where you'll be able to see that your SSD is going to be uh, running at SATA 2 speeds which is of course better than SATA 1 uh, double the bandwidth however of course if you're running an SSD I would totally recommend running a SATA 3 get 6 gigabit per second card just because that's what makes sense of course but uh, if you can't or if you don't want to um, I was doing that for a while, but I had a really unreliable card, so I just decided to bite the bullet. Um, but yeah, so this is what you what you should see. And if uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, leave them down in the comments, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching this video, and everybody have a great day. See you guys.